I was reading the comments, I saw the sign, and of course I immediately got infuriated because I'm thinking in this day and age, you know, we're still having to deal with things like this. A restaurant here in town facing backlash after a photo of a sign in their building began circulating on social media. If we want to be, you know, remembered as a, a group of people, that's not how we want to be remembered. It's a vintage neon sign from the 1920s restaurant called the Coon Chicken Inn, featuring a caricature of an African-American man that Jasmine Abdullah is calling offensive. If you want to put a piece of, you know, American history or African-American history, there are tons of people that you can have hanging up in your in your restaurant, not something derogatory. Abdullah says she reached out to Cook's Garage multiple times, asking them to take it down. But that wasn't the reaction at all. Cook's Garage declined to comment, but posted a public response to the criticism on Facebook. Basically, what they said was that they did not put the sign up to be derogatory, racist, or to offend anyone, that it was a part of Americana history, just like everything else hung in our collection and buildings. It was a piece of history in the 20s. This is not the 1920s. And if they did their history before responding, they would know that that restaurant was closed down before for that particular reason, because of the, the, you know, the racial epitaph that basically stood on. We were not able to confirm if the sign was still up, but Abdullah says it's about more than just the sign. People are always trying to say, you know, racism is dying. It, it's not. And this is just kind of, you know, a reminder that it's not going anywhere. But the fact that it's not going anywhere means that we can't either.